Hi guys, so it's been another tough week last week. Um, on the Tuesday, I went to six, diff no, four different venues to try and get some pike. First one I went to was a river. I knew that was a gamble. The levels were dropping, so the levels were fine. We were still pushing through quite a bit, but it was the colour. The colour was like chocolate, so it was a no-go really. So I decided to go to a canal. One I haven't fished for a while, and uh, rumours are that it's been electro fish, but I still fancy giving it a go. So I went over there, got there, and there was loads of surface weed on the top, and also a really been floating around, so I didn't even bother trying to fish that one. So I went to another one, which I fished quite a lot, but recently there was an oil spillage in there, but that's cleared up now. But I got there, and again, the colour was just murky. It was just too murky, really, for me. So that was like a, a frustrating day but on the way home I found a spot where it's usually full of weed but it was clear and I had a couple of casts in there but no good didn't see anything and then on the Wednesday I went to try and do some drop shotting with worms for the first time and unfortunately I took Shane as well a friend of mine to see if we can get him his first sander unfortunately um, the reel he was using the pin came out the handle so that um, that cut that session short but I let him have my other rod and he managed to get his first sander as well with a couple of perch and some surprise chub but for me it was like a bit of a bittersweet moment I was really chuffed for shame but in the end I felt like it was an opportunity for me a gone so next week we'll try again but this week uh, it's a gear recommendation um, before Abby's diagnosis of cancer I used to uh, play a lot of football and badminton and I used to have quite a lot of trouble with my lower back with it being getting stiff and ache and that's you know due to posture and I used to be a goalkeeper and being six foot four and overweight etc etc but when I was fishing lure fishing I used to get discomfort between the shoulder blades so what I decided to do is buy um, uh, posture correction support and when I wear this I can fish for hours you know pain free without it within 10 minutes i start to feel an ache between the shoulder blades um so this is about they like, get them about 20 pound this one it has magnets in the back it's got xn8 sports and it's quite a lot of different models but they all work the same way really you put it on and i think what it does and you can't really feel it do much it pulls the shoulders back a bit so you're more upright and you've got the strap that goes around the middle and there's some adjustment straps but one of them broke and I'll just wear that underneath and like I say it pulls the shoulders back and I can fish for hours and hours with you know with that on without it you know about it so if you ever get discomfort between the shoulder blades one of these is uh, maybe worth having a look at but like I said, next week we'll try again and hopefully I can get some fishing action. I've received a couple of new flies this week and also some new colours and the realistic shads. And I have ordered a new Dodo lure, which is like a lamprey model, which is similar to the Squirly Burst. And I've ordered a spare tail for you from Russell Lures. So it'll be interesting to see and get some of them out and try them. So hopefully next time, fingers crossed, we'll get some fish. But until then, tight lines.